Hey, welcome back to the podcast. This would be the audio from my recent immune system love class. Things got a little trippy over on Facebook, so I have cleaned up the recording video wise and have uploaded that along with this audio, show notes, the class package, all that jazz over to wholefit.com forward slash classroom if you wanna grab the class package and explore more from there. Enjoy the audio. Welcome to Whole Fit Talks. This is a show just for you, someone who's taking ownership of their health, leading their life, and living their legacy. And I'm glad we found each other because I am another you. Thanks for being here. And now on to this week's episode. There we go. All right. Welcome in. I want to dive right into our content today. If you're new here, I teach most months um, in the classroom. Welcome to the classroom. <laughs> on um, Facebook, on the brand page, I do a stream to Instagram. And then it also pops in live into the actual classroom, wholefit.com forward slash classroom. And over there, you guys, um, I also have a notes package which I'll show you. So I, I send out an updated notes package um, before class. So a lot of you would have received that email this morning if you're subscribed to the classroom notes. Uh, I'm going to pull up my screen here. Okay. So like I said, we're talking about our immune system today. And what I do want to go through is just a little bit of housekeeping with you, especially if you're brand new to the class. Um, you, you should be able to see my screen up on the slide deck of Facebook. I'm going to take my face off the screen in a few minutes once we get into it. Um, if there's anyone you want to tag in the comments or um, share this out into your groups, please do. Uh, I've got some good stuff to share with you. I did say that I go live um, every month with, with a topic. So this month's topic was actually planned six months ago. Um, so as I share with you how to best protect yourself right now. What I'm sharing with you today is what you would want to be doing any given day of the week, not just in the times that we are in. Um, so I'm going to do my best to keep this clean, if you know what I mean, um, and something that you can really treat evergreen, something that you could use any time of the year, okay? So up on the screen, you can see the schedule for the next few months. So next month in April, It'll actually be April 22nd. We're going to talk about green cleaning as a key way to reduce your toxic load. And then in May, I'm going to talk about healthy habit stacking. Um, and then you can see the rest of the months there. I mean, those may change as we get going through the next few months, but um, that is the plan for now. Uh, let me pop back in the screen share. Oh, all these difficulties. Okay. Okay, you guys are better now. Yay! Let's hope it keeps going. Um, let me just minimize myself. Okay, I hope it keeps rolling okay. Um, again, this is over on Instagram as well, but I will upload the audio to the podcast. We've got lots of backup plans, so we should be okay. It sounds like you guys are good to go now, so that's good. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, the class notes for this, and this package for this class, you guys, is going to include the recipes that I'm referencing. So if you're uh, just getting this and you want to be able to have the recipes in print form or something you can reference later, hop over to wholefit.com forward slash classroom and just add yourself to the classroom list. You'll automatically receive the download of the class package, which will have the recipes and various templates that I refer to in class, such as um, this day by design template. The reason I include these templates is I often refer to them as I teach because it's so important to look at how you can take information and um, how to take information and put it into action. So the day by design is so important because that way you're able to take information and put it into action. And it's so easy to get lots of information today and just not have a good plan. So as I'm talking and as I say things that you're like, you know, that's a good idea. I think I'm going to try integrating that. Have that day by design in front of you and think about how you can integrate that in your life. The key question here is what needs to happen in order for that to happen. So really think about your ritual and routine. And of course, 
at the time of this recording, for many of us, this has kind of gone out the window, right? A lot of us are feeling that and we're, we're really taking the time this week to figure out what the new way is of being home together at a time when we, when we must be home um, for we don't know how long, right? So um, this may be your call to action out of our times together today is to really sit with this content and think, okay, what if this is the new way for a while? What does that look like for us as a family and how can we integrate a plan that's going to help us feel confident and in our power, okay? So I wanna begin, you guys, before we get into the topic of supporting our immune system, loving on our immune system, and learning how to put our tools to work for us, um, I want to go through a five minute intro to doTERRA because I know that many of you um, do use doTERRA, but there's also you know groups on here that have never used essential oils before. And um, I want to go through why doTERRA and more importantly, why now? Um, many of you on here perhaps use essential oils of a different brand, and that's totally great as long as you can trust the quality. I think that we're in a time right now where we're just not willing anymore to uh, be using something that isn't working for us. We, we need to be able to rely on our tools right now to help us, especially when it comes to the topic today. So doTERRA, if you aren't familiar, is the largest essential oil company in the world um, and also the most transparent. And this is what makes this conversation perhaps more interesting because um, when you are looking to use tools, when you're looking to support your body in a powerful way, you want to make sure you're using the real deal. And with doTERRA, you can trust that you are. So I want to share three cool things about them and I want to share three ways that you're going to use them. And of course, there are more in-depth essential oil classes you can attend, um, all happening online right now. Um, so, uh, you know, connect with the person that invited you here. They probably do have a more in-depth class coming up. The three cool things about doTERRA, number one, you can trust that they're 100% natural and safe, okay? Our oils from doTERRA are, are pure extracts from plants and they lend amazing health benefits to the body. Okay, 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herb form. So when you use something like peppermint, for example, how many of you grow peppermint in your backyard? You could rub the leaves of the peppermint in your hand and you would get a little bit of the essential oil on your hands. Uh, but when you're using one, even one drop of peppermint oil, I know many of you can attest to this, it is so much stronger than using the, the herb, okay? And so when we use a pure plant, and guys, let me just throw a PS side note in here. It is very simple for a company within a lab to create something that smells like peppermint or smells like lavender or lemon or whatever you're looking to buy. They can do that so cheaply um, and they can put whatever they want on the label. So what that means is you could go to the dollar store and you could see on the shelf a bottle of 100% pure lavender. And it might even smell like lavender. It might smell pretty good to you. But what you're only dealing with there is fragrance. And so this is really a call to action time for so many people to really be looking at what have they been bringing into their home and how is that effectively supporting them? Okay, and you can trust that with doTERRA. They're the most transparent company. They have every, you can look at, you can scan your bottle and you can look at the testing gun on that bottle to know exactly what's in that bottle. Now, the second cool thing is they are super effective. In fact, um, I'm curious how many of you have had this um, experience where you were using something, perhaps a pharmaceutical drug for a situation in your life and um, it, it eventually did not work the way it's, it used to for you. And so one thing led to another and you found yourself exploring alternatives um, and you came across doTERRA and you used the oils and you couldn't believe how quickly they worked for uh, very specific situations, right? Essential oils are, I guess the easiest way to describe them, you guys, is they help support the body in coming back to a state of harmony and balance, otherwise known as homeostasis, they support your body in healing itself. And so even when it comes to the topic of uh, supporting your immune system, 
the tools that you're using, the things that you have in your home right now are either distracting your body or supporting your body and being able to do that. So what's our, our king of blend when we talk about supporting the immune system? It's on guard, right? Many of you are reaching for that lately uh, because of how effective it is in being a protective blend. I love it. Anne says she has peppermint and on guard in her diffuser right now, as do I. That is actually one of my favorite combinations of aromatics. It's so cleansing in the air and very protective and energizing. Okay, guys, cool thing number three is uh, it's affordable, okay? So pennies per drop of use. And when you invest in something that is of the quality of doTERRA, you're getting something where you don't need to be using multiple drops at a time for many applications, okay? It's typically one drop per application, pennies per dose. Okay, but not to mention all of the time you save not needing. I mean, how, I'm just curious because I've been feeling this a lot in these last few weeks. I, like every other hour, have just felt so much gratitude for having access to the oils in our home, for just being able to reach for solution after solution and knowing that I have so many things in our home that I can support our bodies with, especially at this time not needing to go out to the store, especially at this time when we can't, right? It's, it's knowing you have that access um, and saving so much time in the long run. For three ways to use doTERRA, if you're new here, I want to cover them off super quick. Aromatic, I was just talking with Anne on the comment said she's diffusing peppermint on guard as we do, as we speak, as we do this class. So that's called aromatic use. Diffusing is a form of that. You could even take, let me grab my bottle of elevation, which I've actually been reaching for more lately, it's just um, you know, in those moments when you need to just come alive, right? Aromatic use of oils. Oh, I just love this one so much. Um, you can add a drop to your hands and breathe in. That's aromatic integration of pure essential oils, okay? So diffusing, inhaling, you would do that to shift the mood, right? Like I said, with um, I just did that with elevation. We've been diffusing in our home three times per day, very intentionally um, to create the feeling that we want to have in our home. And the bonus side effect of doing that is that our air becomes cleansed through that. We can also support our uh, respiratory and immune system on a deeper level through diffusing, right? So if you're diffusing um, on garden peppermint, for example, or eucalyptus, you know, you're supporting your airways. Very important to be doing right now. Okay. Usage number two is topical. This is when you would want to be focusing on um, a localized area. So you have some tension here. You have some skin issues going on here. This is when topical use is genius. And this is when you're going to want to dilute your essential oils because again, they're very potent, very potent. So when you're using doTERRA topically, you're going to take your, your drop of oil and you're going to mix it in with a little bit of what we call carrier oil. Give me some examples in the comments of what you know as a carrier. Um, you can see up on the screen, the most common carrier is fractionated coconut oil. Okay. But there's lots of other examples. I know people will share in the comments with you guys. Um, so topical is when you want to go right to the area. And when you dilute with a carrier oil, the other brilliant thing besides um, you know, be safer and extending the life of your oils more because you're not using as much at a time. The other brilliant thing is it actually allows the oil to penetrate deeper and to have a more lasting effect because essential oils are volatile. You use them, they're going to evaporate very quickly into the air. Okay, so jojoba, yes, Monica said. Um, we have olive oil, avocado oil, yes, Shelly. There's lots of different plant oils you can use. Almond oil, this is actually over on Instagram. Hey, Sarah Prout, she says, I'm about to load up peppermint on garden diffuser. Cool. Maybe that's the blend that we all diffuse right now together. How sweet would that be? Okay, you guys, use number three is internal. Now, this is specific to doTERRA. Please do not take what I'm sharing and, and go back and use your store-bought or your health food store or your craft store oils with this. That would be dangerous, okay? This next and, and final Usage integration is only specific to doTERRA because, again, you're using just pure plant. I don't want you internalizing fragrance. That would be a big no. So that would be dangerous, okay? So 
when you're using pure doTERRA oils, you can now integrate in the deepest impact way. So internal use of oils is what you're going to do when you want to really hit something. Now, this might be a very relevant use within our topic today when you're looking to really target something, okay? You want more of it working its way through your system, okay? So taking oils internally can be done a few ways. So for example, I'm drinking a glass of water right now that has a drop of lemon in it. I drink my at least my body weight in ounces every day. I've shared that with you before is a really great health habit is to at least do half your body weight in ounces daily. Adding a high limonene citrus oil, such as lemon or tangerine or green mandarin or grapefruit, they're all beautiful. Adding that to your water is very cleansing to your body. You guys can look up on, on, your, on your own time. You can hop over to PubMed and look up limonene. Limonene is the key constituent in citrus essential oils. So adding them to your water actually tastes amazing. It's really refreshing and it's actually going to work, okay? In a veggie cap is the next way. I don't have them with me, but you can actually make your own pills in this way. So this is a safe way to bypass the throat so that you're not doing damage, especially if you're using um, more hot caustic oils like oregano. Some of you are starting to rely on oregano right now. That would be one that you don't want to be using uh, without a veggie cap, okay? And remember, again, you don't need to be using doTERRA except for when I get into some of the deeper integrations. Just make sure whatever brand you're using has the level of transparency and integrity that doTERRA does. Um, for those of you wondering, with um, doTERRA's transparency, a great website to hop over to is source to you okay? source .com is where you can scan your bottle. You can learn exactly what's in it and read the latest testing report on it. All right. So I want to get into the meat of today's topic. And a key question we all want to be asking right now is, what is my body's tipping point? At what point is my immune system not able to keep up with what it's being exposed to? Because remember, a body that is in homeostasis more throughout the day, that state of balance that the body wants to be in, a body that is in that state is going to have a more efficient time dealing with what it comes up against, okay? So let's go through some Immune System 101. And like I said, you guys, I'm, I don't want to keep this topic timely to what's going on right now. This is something I planned months ago, but it does come in good timing. Um, but I do want to remind you that what I'm sharing with you, you want to make uh, your everyday awareness, okay? This needs to be something that we're practicing um, every day, right? Not, not some of the more in-depth protocols I'm going to share, but you want to be practicing ways to support your body so it is strong. And to be quite honest with you guys, right now, what you're going to be seeing in the current events that we're facing is people are going to be experiencing in their body um, a mirror effect, okay? So what's going on right now is a mirror of all of the work you've done up until now, all of the work you've done physically in your body, all of the work you've done spiritually, emotionally, it is all coming up right now to the surface for you, okay? And it is, um, so if you have been integrating a lot of what I'm sharing today already, you're likely at an advantage right now. A few months ago, I taught a class called the 12 Causes of Health. Let me know if you tuned in for that class or watched the recording. Um, it was 12 areas that you'd want to be focusing on eventually to be part of your everyday. But what some of you decided to do, which I think is smart, is you took one area per month. You're working on it this year. And so even if you've only been able to integrate one or two or three of those areas right now, um, you've done your body a great service by doing that, okay? And I'm going to cover off um, a couple of the key areas from that talk in just a moment. Um, but, you know, what I've been thinking a lot lately is what makes us a good host in a time like this? Uh, you, If you follow my blog, you've seen the blog post I did a few weeks ago called How to Not Be a Good Host. There's a lot of information flying right now. 
And one thing I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I have certainly noticed is there is a real lack of information being shared with people on how they can support and fortify their immune system right now. There's a few things being shared, like stay home, wash your hands for 20 seconds. Um, don't be around people who are coughing and sneezing, right? There's, so there's some practical things that are being shared. But on the whole, it's throwing everybody into this state of panic and fear and chaos. Uh, and the information is not being shared on how someone could actually strengthen their immune system so that they could navigate a time like this, okay? And that really is the main question. And, and guys, what we are experiencing right now, what we're seeing happening, sadly, within the healthcare system is that we have an already broken, overwhelmed system that is now breaking in new, very deep ways. Our, our healthcare workers are just completely overwhelmed at this point. Um, and really, again, I don't want to go too, I don't want to go too deep on this because I, I want to, you know, keep it clean. But guys, what we're seeing right now is the system that for decades has created a situation where people are dependent on it now cannot keep up with the situation it has created. Okay. You can think on what I'm saying right now. Um, and there's a lot more I would love to talk about. I'm kind of dripping out content over on Instagram each day, a little bit here and there. But to be honest with you, this is a call to action. This is an invitation for all of you listening right now to, and myself, to be looking at where can I be even more of an advocate for myself, for my family? Where can I take even more responsibility in my life so that I am not a burden, but I'm in fact part of the solution. Um, one of the things I expect to see happen in the next couple of months is that communities like you who have access and who have the tools to be supporting a strong, robust immune system right now are going to be much of the reason our system doesn't completely crash. Okay. Just something to think about. Um, so real quick, immune system 101, okay? When we talk about our immune system, what does it actually mean to have one? What is it doing for us, okay? So when you guys are exposed to something um, that your body needs to protect you from, your defense system is triggered, okay? White blood cells ramp up, and they emit proteins called cytokines. Now, this is what inc increases the amount of inflammation happening in your body. This is a good thing. We, when our body stimulates that process to happen, it's a very good thing because, and you know, you see this start to happen in your body through um, various weight, like you know you're coming down with something at times if you start to get warm. Uh, you have a runny nose. This is your body trying to evacuate something out of you. If you, if you throw up, you know, your body has many different mechanisms that respond to this triggering that happens. And those are all very good things. Okay. Um, now this is a very interesting thing. I, I think that you as an audience will appreciate, um, when you are, when you are living in a body that through your lifestyle, you may have been promoting more inflammation than what is necessary you become a good host at a time like this. So um, a common situation in our world today is the rate of obesity. So uh, what's, I've been actually thinking a lot about this lately because there's all of these calculations around what's gonna happen in North America right now in the time that we're in. And I don't think what's been factored into these calculations is the percentage of our population who are carrying around excess body weight. Excess body weight is um, a very, it's a daily way that your body is releasing cytokines. And this is known as a low grade, um, low grade inflammation that's chronic in the body. So if you're carrying around extra body weight, 
your body is already in an inflamed state. There, there are many other ways to become a good host at a time like this. If your toxic load is too heavy, if you're bringing too many things into your body that your your body uh, into your home that your body's trying to protect you from, that's going to be a problem in a time like this. Um, if you are surrounded by people who are promoting fear, 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 and no solutions, then you are in a situation where you're promoting um, inflammation in the body. I'm going to get into a few things um, with you right now really quick. So when you're looking at just creating that really cleansed state, you want to be looking again at your water intake, having that those fresh fluids moving through your body. I've talked about this already with the limonene. Um, nutrition plays a really key role right now. In fact, all of the work you've been doing over the last few months is showing up to serve you right now in this time. That doesn't mean it's too late. It just means we need to be very mindful in a time like this that we're watching what we're giving our body as building blocks. So if, if diet is super lacking right now, perhaps because of access, this is a very important time to be supplementing. So you want to make sure you're taking your life on vitality as a key just baseline because this is what drives the chemistry in your body. This is what literally gives your body the building blocks to be able to do what it needs to do. Um, having a daily smoothie is a great practice, you guys. Something where you can put a couple cups of greens in there and just make sure that you're getting at least one meal a day is, is solid where you're getting some really good nutrition packed in. I do this with the kids every afternoon. They, we, we stop and have a smoothie break. It's a nice, it's just a real simple routine we've built in and they know it's coming every day and they actually look forward to it. But I always pack um, chia seeds and a couple of cups of greens and fruit in there and some collagen and some protein. For, they're getting a good baseline there. Reducing your toxic load, which I just mentioned, is key right now. So you want to be looking at what you're using in your home. We're going to cover a few of these things in the recipes. Um, this is this is the right time to be looking at how you can um, clean without burdening your body with toxins. Okay, you want to be really be paying attention to the things that you're very gradually and in small ways but big ways exposing your body to. Sleep is so big right now, so big. As we're all at home a little bit more. This, this is, um, you know, if, if the days are wearing you out a little bit more, maybe you have the kids home with you, just go to bed. Go to bed a little bit earlier. Um, I've talked about this before. This is something that I'm just really into now that I'm in my 40s. I, I love tracking my sleep. Um, and I actually, I track it every night. I look at my, my cycles through something called the Aura Ring. And um, it's been interesting because the nights where... I'm watching or reading something to quote unquote stay informed. I have the worst sleep. Okay, so it's it's just being mindful of the things you see up on the screen there. There's lots you can do. Go back and watch the 12 causes of health class to get a little more in depth on the sleep topic. Sleep is a big deal right now as your body's trying to stay strong. And then the last piece I'll just mention here before I get into some recipes with you guys is being really mindful of the, the frequency and the thoughts that you're allowing in, okay? Um, I know you guys understand this, and this doesn't sound hokey, but when you are operating in the higher frequencies, the higher frequency emotions like joy, love, freedom, gratitude, abundance, help generosity showing up for people right now when so many people are out there just promoting fear when you tap into that frequency it is so healing in your body one thing I want to offer you right now is a, a simple practice for daily energy hygiene if you have the adaptive line I have a, a roller right here on my desk I love this line um, it was created in very smart timing by doTERRA last fall. Um, I know a lot of you love it. I'm sure you could share a lot of testimonials with this adaptive wine, but it's brilliant for just stopping in the moment when you notice that you're, you've dipped into a, a very disease-promoting thinking. 
in your body, then it's time to do some cleanup there. So a daily little stop, drop, and adaptive routine would look like this. You can take a capsule of adaptive with a glass of water, have your diffuser going next to you, three to four drops of adaptive blend. You can roll the adaptive blend in your pulse points. And then basically take a few deep breaths with it and tell yourself what's true in this moment, not buying into what all the stories that are out there, all the things that you could be worried about, but think about, you know, what is one thing I could do right now that puts me back into my state of power? What is something that I can control? It's my favorite question. What is something that I can control in this moment? What good does it serve us to be spiraling into, you know, waves of fear at times like this? This can be so, so healing in your body and again, your mind, you guys, your mind doesn't know the difference between a real threat and just a threat you're thinking of. And so when you have these moments where you're, you're dropping into those states of fear and feeling like everything's out of your control, that's a story. And so you need to, you need to find a way to disrupt that so that your body doesn't start to go into a more inflamed state because it thinks it's in trouble. Okay. The work right now is in being balanced between being informed, but not letting it completely run our life. So I'm going to read to you, especially over on Instagram, since I know a lot of you hopped over from Facebook, what a daily immune fortifying routine could look like. All of this is very specific to what we're experiencing right now, but much of this is, is, could be the perfect daily routine when it comes to using your oils and putting them to work, okay? So from here on, you guys, this is gonna be like the meat of putting your oils to work. If you don't have essential oils in your home or some of the supplements, you might wanna hang out just to be able to learn what you could do and, and all the options that are there, um, or this may not interest you at all, okay? Just giving you the heads up, I'm gonna go deep into the meat now. So in the mornings, on guard mouth hygiene is really important for kicking off your day. It's so beautiful how the on guard line supports throughout the day because it's gentle, simple integrations with the oils. Okay. So starting off with the on guard toothpaste, on guard mouthwash. Okay, glad I'm back over here. I don't know, you guys. This is like really frustrating. Um, not sure what's going on with Facebook, but here we're back. So up on your screen, you see the, immo the immune fortifying routine. On guard toothpaste and on guard mouthwash is, is important, especially in a time like right now, okay? You've got to keep your system clean, mouth to throat, very important. So another thing I love to promote here is uh, scraping your tongue each morning, okay? Um, rotating protective essential oils. Now I say rotating because if you spend some time understanding the chemistry of essential oils, what you come to realize is that all essential oils have different constituents. There are groups of oils that are more supportive to the immune system and are very protective, but you don't have to use the same one every single day. In fact, you shouldn't, okay? You wanna be rotating them so that you're getting different constituents into, um, into your body. Your body loves to work with new constituents, okay? So On Guard, yes, is, is so popular right now, but you don't have to just be using um, On Guard every day, okay? I wanna give you a few other ones you wanna be focusing on. So if you have the roller bottles, what I suggest is um, morning and night, bottoms of your feet and chest, because the, the roller bottles doTERRA makes are already diluted in coconut oil, okay? You know that they're diluted in coconut oil if they say touch on them. There's a few roller bottles that don't have the coke oil in them, um, but those do. So the touch rollers are what we're talking about here. On guard, rose, oregano, tea tree, and frankincense. Those are ones that you'd wanna keep rotating. Other protective powerhouse oils um, in oil form, not roller bottle, are Melissa, Arbor Vitae, DDR Prime, Rosemary, and Eucalyptus. Now what I recommend, um, I've mentioned using the, the high limonene oils in your water. 
a few times a day. What an, another very helpful ritual to be doing right now is a drop of Melissa, Copaiba, or frankincense below your tongue each morning and or night. Okay? That would be very immune boosting right now. Diffusing, I mentioned already, with intention, three times a day. I recommend Arbor Vitae and Bergamot. It's a lovely combination for immune support. On Guard and Peppermint, we've talked about today, right? Lavender and Breathe at nighttime. So that's a nice combination at night to help you sleep deeper as well. Supplements, let's talk about this. Daily routine. So um, I actually, what I'm sharing with you here is my daily routine. Um, the only thing I didn't mention here was uh, Terrazyme, which I do take every day. Um, I wanted to focus this conversation on supplements for immune support. Um, it could be argued that Terrazyme actually does do that, but I didn't want to overwhelm you. So, oh, I spelled breakfast, breakfast. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> okay, here's what this would look like. One deeply polyphenol or turmeric capsule. Um, because you want the polyphenols, what polyphenols do really simply, you guys, is they uh, help your body in fighting oxidation and help it in coming back to a healthy state of inflammation. Okay, they're just like nutrient or um, antioxidant bombs in your body. They're so good for you. And oxidation, of course, is what leads to disease and aging. So you'll have some side benefits there. So I would do one at breakfast, one at lunch. Mito 2 Max each day as well. Mito 2 Max is what promotes the efficient energy in your body. So you want to be doing this so your body is able to access the energy it needs to focus on healing if it needs to, right? So Mito 2 Max morning and lunch. And then Lifelong Vitality, we've talked about a little bit already today. It's a given. You want to be doing that twice a day. Now at bedtime, here's what I suggest. You take one to two of the probiotics because so much of your immune system health is connected to your gut. And you want to make sure you have a good balance of probiotics um, in your body, good bacteria. So PB Assist, I love to take it at night because then it's working its way through uh, my body when my body's at rest, not focused on eating and digesting and, and um, energy and moving and all the little things. And then a Copaiba soft gel is so wise because it interacts with so many different um, systems. So Copaiba, if you don't know, real quick, the main constituent is beta-caryophylline. Beta-caryophylline interacts with many different cannabinoid receptors in your body. So it actually supports healthy inflammation in that way. It helps with recovery. It helps with sleep, digestion. Like it's just, it's a really good all around, okay? So I love to take one of those at night. Now also, I recommend when you're wanting to strengthen your immune system, you're looking at taking vitamin D3 with a K2, it's a blend. Um, I, I have linked for you in the class deck, uh, Thorn brand for that. It's the brand that we use. You can find other brands. Um, a lot of things that I'm mentioning right now, you guys, that aren't available through doTERRA uh, are sold out on Amazon, unfortunately. But they'll be back in stock. Just keep watching. Um, also boost your, uh, oh, one more note about uh, vitamin D. If possible, get outside with some sun on your skin. That's going to help promote natural uh, vitamin D in your body. You need to have unblocked skin, okay? Um, so that would be wise if you're in somewhere where you can get some sun. It's very healing right now. Look up what they did in the last big flu pandemic. Look at what they did, Okay. Uh, vitamin C, either through a supplement such as lipospheric. <clears throat> lipospheric basically helps the vitamin C become more bioavailable to the white blood cells. Um, you can also use um, powdered form of vitamin C, sodium ascorbate. Um, you can you can find different powders available. A lot again, a lot of them are selling out right now, um, but you want to get about two thousand milligrams per day. Um, you can obviously focus on different citrus fruits or veggies like red peppers. I believe have about 400 milligrams right there. Camu, camu powder is something that I put in our smoothies every day. It's a nice way to get that good dose of vitamin C. And then what I do want to mention is when you do start to feel uh, run down, immediately take an on guard soft gel. Do it one to two times a day for a couple of days. Okay. 
and watch what doesn't progress. <laughs> How well said was that? Um, alternatives to on guard soft gels uh, would be DDR Prime, even GX Assist could be used. You, you could make your own on guard soft gel, um, except, yeah, you could. You could make it in the capsule. Um, with the oils that are in it. Keep in mind the On Guard Soft Gel has um, black pepper and Melissa. And if you're made, now what I would recommend is you actually use On Guard oil. Don't try to mimic On Guard because the eucalyptus that you would have is not one you want to be using for internal use. And the last part of this ritual, I want to, I want to give a shout out to the Symphony of the Cells Protocol. You guys, this is a very helpful um, offering to someone in your home if they have become uh, run down. So what I want you to do when you're, when you're done here, hop over to Symphony of the Cells on Facebook. They actually have a free course right now. It's like a five minute video that teaches you how to do it. They have a book that supports all the different protocols. Um, but it's, it's just such a great way to hit that reboot button, okay? There's many different protocols you could follow, um, but I can't, I'm not, I can't talk about live because they talk about specific diseases, but you can go look at the book. You can, um, yeah, I see some of you, hey, Julie, she says, we've been using the infectious disease protocol. It's been incredible, awesome. Yeah, a lot of you have used Sympathy the Cells before, but I, I wanted to mention it here because this is, you don't wanna forget about this when you're looking to really hit that reset button, okay? All righty, glad we're still rocking and rolling. Let's see if we can go for another 10 minutes here. So let me go into some DIY recipes for supporting immune system. These are recipes that I pulled for you out of, hey Audrey, I pulled them out of the new Supernatural Recipe Guide. If you have the classroom package um, that I emailed out this morning, these recipes I'm gonna show you right now are in that, that um, class notes pack, okay? So the first one is a DIY sanitizer. Now I recognize you guys, a lot of things have been selling out on shelves. So just, you know, do what you can with what you have. Um, so rubbing alcohol, for example, right now is very difficult to find. The CDC released this information that in order for a hand sanitizer to be effective at a time like this, it must have an overall volume of at least 60% rubbing alcohol, which means you're using at least 91% isopropyl alcohol to begin with, okay? You're using that and you're, you're putting enough of it into your spray to create a 60% volume of it. Now, I realize many of you don't have access to this right now, but if you do, um, I've given you a recipe on the screen for making this sanitizer out of an empty 15 ml bottle. Um, Instagram, I have these recipes I'm sharing also on that blog post I did called How to Not Be a Good Host. So you can go over and search the website for that after. You'll see the recipes I'm sharing, okay? <clears throat> um, an alternative, so me and the kids, the kids and I, I should say, uh, we made up a bunch of these sanitizers for our neighbors, for people around, um, and we didn't have any rubbing alcohol, so we actually grabbed a, a bottle of Everclear vodka, and we used that, okay? so. Um, you could use witch hazel. You could just stick with your on guard and coconut oil. Here's the thing. Um, so the CDC is going to release what they've released based on their research. They're obviously not researching on guard. Okay. Now there has been a lot of research done on on guard. Just um, I can't. Sh I'm not at liberty to share that with you. Okay. You can look that up again on your own time. But that's up to you. But just think of like how you can stretch your on guard and make different creations with it right now. Um, an immune support roller. So if you guys have some empty roller bottles, they're 10 mil size, you can top them back up. You can refill them and make your own. So a nice immune support roller would be 20 drops of On Guard, 10 drops of frankincense, top it up with fractionated coconut oil, and voila. If you're making this for your kids, drop that in half. If you're using an immune support roller on babies, make the total amount of essential oil in there five drops max, okay? Babies up to about age three, then you can add a little bit more. So kids in general for a roller bottle are going to have 10 to 15 drops of essential oil total. Adults for a roller bottle are gonna have 20 to 30 drops, 
in, in the 10 mil, okay? Foaming hand soap, super important right now, right? Um, this is a nice, easy recipe you can make if you don't want to be using things with trickles and fragrance right now. And good on you if you're not, okay? Um, in fact, this is a very simple way to support your body right now. Two tablespoons of unscented castile soap, one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil, and then I love to add um, a mix of, again, On Guard and Peppermint. There it is again, right? I top it up with water. You can get foaming hand soaps. I have, again, all of this linked in that class package that I sent out today. You can access that if you go to wholefit.com forward slash classroom. You'll see the where you can add your email and you'll get it instantly. All-purpose cleaner. Um, oh, let me just back up. Foaming hand soap, just to review really quickly, you guys. This is a great time to go through this with your kids. Make sure that they're singing a song that's about 20 seconds long as they're washing their hands, okay? Good, I'm glad you guys love the recipes. So simple to make, right? This again is what I keep coming back to. It's such a beautiful feeling to have access to the tools you need, especially right now in your home. All-purpose cleaner. This is a great general simple cleaner to make. If you have on-guard cleaning concentrate, this is when it really shines, okay? Two tablespoons in a glass spray bottle. Add 10 drops each of On Guard and peppermint and top it up with water, about two cups of water. Brilliant. Use that cleaner on all the things, especially metal. Okay, I'll just say that. Um, in the times we're in right now, metal surfaces are a real concern. Cleaning knobs, door handles, every, you know, anything that you're touching regularly. If you don't have On Guard concentrate, you guys, you can sub that with... <clears throat> A quarter cup of rubbing alcohol if you have that. If you don't have that, you can use a cup of vinegar. Top up the rest with water. Yes, Anne says, and it smells amazing too. It, it really does. You'll actually love cleaning um, when you make it this way. Okay, so up on the screen, you guys, um, what you would want to be doing is taking that immune love balm morning and night, and that's still going to keep you under that 24 drops recommendation per day. I'm loving Instagram today. I'm not loving Facebook today. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I hope you guys can hear me now again. <clears throat> okay, thanks. So cough syrup, I have a recipe there. To get a sore throat, take just a teaspoon of raw honey, add a drop of lemon, on guard, copaiba, and peppermint, and take your back, okay? Um, so that's going to really help um, again, if you've got just, if you're wanting to keep something safely coating the throat, okay? Thank you for letting me know I'm back. <laughs> There's such a delay over there. Sinusty. This is an important one right now, you guys. We want to focus on expanding the lungs. The sinus steam, what you basically do is you take a mug and you fill it with hot water and you add a drop of lemon, peppermint, oregano, and tea tree. You put them into a mug and you basically create a steam situation. So you can either put a towel over your head. Um, that's probably the easiest way. You're not drinking this, you're breathing it in, okay? You wanna to try to keep it a little bit away from your eyes if possible. But one other option I wanted to let you know about is you can create a short tent. Anytime you need to just breathe deeper, expand the lungs, you wanna really be working on the lungs right now, you guys, okay? Take, um, you could even take a drop of eucalyptus or breathe blend, massage it in, and then take your shirt up over your nose and breathe it in deeply, it's called the shirt tent. You're gonna love it. This might be a good practice for you to be doing daily right now, just to exercise the lungs, okay? Um, I'm gonna skip the vitamin C shot. I, I've mentioned a few things in here you can again access in the, the class deck. I, I've got immune gummy bears. This might be something fun you wanna make with kids there. A sore throat spray. This is a helpful one for right now too. You can create a base of, um, I recommend doTERRA's fish oil for this because it has wild orange in it. It doesn't taste super fishy at all. And then you could add 10 drops On Guard, uh, seven drops lemon, and five drops of Copaiba and create a spray out of it. So then you could spray on the throat. So again, it's coating and it's, it's offering that protection, okay? Again, all the recipes I've talked about today, you guys, thank you, whoever's sharing this over on Instagram, um, they're in the classroom. So if you go to hopa.com forward slash classroom, you'll find the recipes I've just shared, okay? So I wanna close this out. And again, I want you to come back to thinking about what does this look like for you right now 
day by day in your home? How can you how can you create a new routine right now that is supporting you based on the information I've shared here um, of, of just simple integrations throughout the day, whether it's focusing on your oral hygiene in the morning with a little more intention or diffusing with a little more intention. Print off that day by design in your package and make some notes in it. Okay. Write out, you know, what's going to be some new things you're integrating right now to support your body in a deeper way. For those of you that don't have access to doTERRA yet, I'm going to close the class for the next couple of minutes just with how you can get started. And then I'm going to do a giveaway and answer any questions. So um, if somebody invited you to this class, you guys, they will help you get started. Okay. If that person is me, then you can message me after class. I'll help you get started. But I wanted to just go over how you do. Okay. So there's two ways you can start with doTERRA. You can either do a pre-designed starter kit. So doTERRA has these starter kits they've made that bundle in your access to 25% off for a whole year. And the cool thing is you shop when you want to shop, not monthly. You don't have to order monthly. Um, I'll go show you up on the screen really quick. The key kits, there's the natural solutions kit. There's the healthy habits kit. We also have a program launching in our whole fit community with this healthy habits kit um, in May. Okay. So that might be a kit you want to start with Instagram. I'm going to lose you in a hot second here. Um, healthy essentials kit and the healthy start kit. So those are the most popular starter kits. And as you can see, they all have um, essential oils bundled into them. <coughs> the other option is a custom kit. So I, or the person that uh, has been sharing doTERRA with you can create a custom kit for you based on your current health goals. So, so perhaps you're wanting to go right for it and target um, your immune system right now and support it, we can create for you a, an immune support kit if that's all you're wanting to do with your oils right now. Um, all teams have resources. This is what makes doTERRA so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of ebooks, for example, on our whole fit team, like the Supernatural Guide, Green Cleaning, um, Healthy Habits Program. We have a lot of programs that happen throughout the year to help support you on this journey because it truly is that. I mean, everything I know today has just been one step at a time of learning and applying and teaching um, along the way. So we love to take you on that journey as you go. Um, like I mentioned, in for your calendars, yes, Instagram is done. You guys it hit the hour there. Uh, green cleaning class will be April 22nd. If you want to join us back here for that, hopefully Facebook will be cooperating a little bit more by then. I want to hear from you. What is one thing? What's one thing you're looking to put to work for you? Okay. In the next two weeks, what's something you're going to be doing with more intention? Um, and if you have questions, now's the time to post them before I hop off. And I hope that there's something that um, has been helpful for you today. I, when I think about this time that we're in, it is so important that we can access our power in a time like this and, and know that all hope is not lost. My goodness. There is so much that we can do to protect ourselves in our homes and to protect those that we love. And for those that are in the doTERRA community, you have access to everything you need you know, to be able to do that. So I love what you guys are sharing. So good. Lots of good tips in here. Thanks for, thanks for your patience today. So happy so many of you are still on live. Um, all right. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to hop back in after. We're going to choose two winners. Thanks again so much, you guys. And let me just leave you with this. There is so much you can do, even when the world wants to make you think that there isn't. There is so much within your control. Be mindful of how much you're taking in and know you're not alone. There are so many of us in this with you. We're gonna get through this together. Uh, what a great time to, to do the work, to really look at where we can take our health to that next level, especially at a time like this. Um, and so I'm so happy that so many of you tuned in today. Love to you all. And we'll see you next month. Hey, you made it to the end. <laughs> if you're not sick of me yet and you want to find other episodes and show notes, you can go to wholefit.com forward slash podcast. If you do love the show, 
I would be so grateful if you take a moment to share it out with your community and leave a review over on iTunes so that more people can find the show. Until next time.